Now I'm gonna share some real personal information with you guys. Nobody knows this about me at all. The only people on earth who will ever know this information is the people who have viewed this video. What's my Netflix list? I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most retarded idea for a video ever. Now the goal of this video is just to give you guys some of my personal opinions and maybe put you on some new shows that you've never watched before. This is such a retarded video idea. I don't even know why I'm doing this. So first off, I have to start with all the Marvel shows. Now I'm not talking about no shitty agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., okay? I'm talking about the real shit. Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist. These are the best content on Netflix. Specifically, Daredevil, I think is definitely my number one favorite show of all time. This show, man, it was so good. And not to mention, these four shows all are connected to each other and have a connecting storyline and then have their own show where all four of them gang up for a whole season to defeat the hand which is this ancient criminal organization it sounds so retarded but it's a really good show and you don't have enough time for all that but if you're gonna only watch one or two of the shows daredevil and iron fist specifically daredevil were the best now, from now on, I'm only going to go through the really notable groundbreaking stuff. So, the interview, everybody's watched that. Such a great movie. The Haunting of Hill House, this is a very underrated show. It has Victoria Padridi in it, my future wife, basically. And then there's Breaking Bad. I put off watching Breaking Bad for years. People were telling me since 2013 that I needed to watch Breaking Bad, and I never even took it into consideration until this year. And then I watched it, and I was like, wow, this is such a great great show but it had a terrible ending it was really lame mr wood let's fuck hookers <laughs> <All these people. laughs> now trailer park boys another show everybody told me i needed to watch and i never did until this year trailer park boys is so good it's just uh how do i say this watching the beginning of this show is like watching a small youtuber that happens to have some of the best content you ever watch kind of like you know watching me no i'm just kidding but that's what the beginning of the show feels like but i'm not gonna lie the later seasons are kind of terrible look i can't speak without swearing and i've only got my grade 10 and i haven't had a cigarette since i've been arrested and i'm ready to fucking snap so i'd like to make a request under the people's freedom of choices and voices act that i'd be able to smoke and swear in your courtroom Ash vs. the Evil Dead. This is a really good zombie show. It's not really a zombie show. It's more like uh, demons possess people and become zombies. It's really funny and has the main uh, actor from the Evil Dead movies. And I feel like it's a really good show. Next up, we already know Stranger Things, man. Such a good show. Uh, yeah. Oh shit, you guys, guys, you did not see Glee on this. Guys, I'm, dude, you never saw Glee on this list. Better Call Saul, man. I have never watched a show that had a spinoff show to it and that I thought was better than the main show. And I feel like Better Call Saul simply just a hundred times better than Breaking Bad. Sure, Breaking Bad was awesome. Pokemon Indigo League. Nothing beats Pokemon Indigo League, okay? As a kid, I enjoyed the Indigo League. I enjoyed the Diamond and Pearl series and Best Wishes, which is Gen 5. But as an adult, I come back and watch those. Those seasons are so bad. But the seasons that remain timeless and always amazing was the Indigo League. Now, sure, Johto's also good, but Johto isn't on, you know, Netflix. But the Indigo League always remained amazing. And you can watch the rest of the episodes of season two on watchpokemon.com, which I highly recommend. It is an amazing show. I genuinely hate anime and Pokemon Indigo is amazing. Now, Silence of the Lambs, in my opinion, is an underrated movie. It's such a good movie. I can't even explain. It's been a long time since I watched it, but it has one of the most attractive actors I've ever seen. Now you... Once upon was a really good show. I made a video about this show. It's very cringy, but you can watch it if you want to. I love this show. It was it was actually just really good. It had you on the edge constantly the entire show, but it wasn't gruesome enough. It wasn't so nasty that you couldn't watch. And that's why I like this show. I don't like shows with like murder in it. You know, it makes me uncomfortable watching it. I'm not even gonna lie. But this show perfectly does it. It's not overly gruesome and a lot of the killing is off 
off screen. So I really enjoyed the show and it has a great story. Now, the after party, I think my favorite movie. No, it is my favorite movie of all time. I discovered this back in 2018. Ever since, I watch it at the end of every year to get me hyped up for the new year. This movie is not meant to be motivating, but when I watched this movie, that's how I took it. Just the ending of the movie gave you this nostalgic feel that hits you so hard, you feels like you're gonna start crying. And then Pokemon Journeys, in my opinion, Pokemon Journeys is the only good episodes since Indigo League was released. I feel in all the other series, almost every ep single episode was filler episodes. Now, of course, Indigo has a few filler episodes. Out of 60 episodes, if three of them are filler, that is fine. I felt like all the other series, 50% of the show was filler. And now Pokemon Journeys is 0% filler. And I really enjoy it. And then at the end here, I have some, I watched this stuff a long time ago, but I have some really good romance movies that I've watched. Um, Always Be My Maybe is really good. Desperados is really good. Someone Great. This is a good movie. So that's my boring ass Netflix list. I know it's not much, but I had to shed some light on the Marvel shows because they are amazing. I just finished Iron Fist two days ago. And man, I really wish I watched all those shows in order. And if it weren't for Netflix, I would have read through every single one of my books that I own through quarantine. So I'm glad for Netflix that it takes up some of my time while I do nothing throughout my day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, all that bull crap, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Now, there's a certain way you have to watch this show in chronological order for it all to make sense. And by the way, I look like white face right now. Holy crap. So here's the order you have to watch all these in. First, you have to watch season one through two of Daredevil. Then you have to watch season one of Jessica Jones. Then you have to watch season one of Luke Cage. Then you have to watch season one of Iron Fist. And then you have to watch the crossover show, which is The Defenders. And you have to watch season one of that, which is the only season. Then you have to watch season two of Jessica Jones, then season two of Luke Cage, then season two of Iron Fist, and then season three of Daredevil, and then season three of Jessica Jones.